Welcome to this series of lectures where we will be discussing this amazing human body that we each live in and its ability to heal itself. You see, the human body was designed to heal itself and it will heal itself if you give it the right conditions. Just as my orange tree will give me beautiful oranges if I give it the right conditions. What is the cause of high blood pressure? And whenever something goes into the body that you can't handle, guess what rises? Blood pressure. No dairy. Cow's milk is great for baby calves. No refined sugar. No caffeine. When the human body takes caffeine, it creates a bit of a crisis which gets the blood pressure up. So many people are low in vitamin D, thus low in the minerals. Many have been given the wrong message on fat. They've stopped the fat, so they're hungry all day, so they're overdoing the carbohydrates, which overworks the pancreas. The pancreas getting weary, stops producing the insulin, and the glucose can't get in. Can you see this scenario? Water can't get in, minerals can't get in, glucose can't get in, and when you think about it, this is the CBD. This is the central business district of the whole of the human body inside the cell. The body says, we've got a crisis here. We can't get the basic nutrients and requirements for this CBD to function in. So the body says, we've got one more thing up our sleeve. We'll just force it in. What's that called? Blood pressure. That's what blood pressure is. It's a pressure building up to force these things in the cell because we're at a crisis level. So what is the cause of high blood pressure? There are many causes. But let me write this down for you so you can put it together. High blood pressure. And with some people, it'll be every one of these points. And with some people, it won't be. That's why the detective hat has to be put on. High blood pressure can be caused by dehydration. In dehydration, little capillary networks shut down to try and conserve full blood volume. That builds up pressure. High blood pressure can be caused by no salt. High blood pressure can be caused by table salt. High blood pressure can be caused by no greens. No greens, no magnesium, water can't get in. High blood pressure can be caused by no sun. No sun, no vitamin D, minerals can't get in. High blood pressure can be caused because of inactivity. When you exercise, you get the circulation of the blood out of the internal organs or areas of the body and out to the extremity, which takes pressure off the heart. High blood pressure can be caused because of a high sugar, high carbohydrate diet. We'll say high sugar, high wheat. Earlier in the week, I showed you how this wheat is getting that blood sugar level up too high, wearing out the pancreas. It can be caused because of a no-fat diet with probably small amounts of margarine. And of course, no fat is referring nothing at all. No fat will say or margarine. Wow. You see, there's more to high blood pressure than meets the eye. High blood pressure can be caused of constant distress. I don't say stress because everyone has a bit of stress in their life. And one man said to me, I love stress. It keeps me working hard. <laughs> I get heaps done. So then I had to define distress. Constant distress is wearing for the body. That's why if there's constant distress, you have to find out why and what can be done to alleviate that. With some people, it's one or two. With some people, it might be all of them. And if you don't turn the tap off, you're still going to be mopping up in the other corner. What's also necessary to keep that blood nice and thin to prevent high blood pressure is blood thinners. 
So let me give you a list of blood thinners. There's no need for rat poison, I mean wolfrin. Did you know that that's what wolfrin is? It is rat poison. And there are far more powerful things that can be used that don't have the danger of the side effect of the wolfrin. You know, there's a lot of information coming out now reassessing whether aspirin is really thinning that blood effectively. One newspaper article on research done six months ago, this is early 2014, they're finding out that aspirin's causing brain bleeds. Hmm. But you can thin the blood beautifully without any dangers of these drugs that I mentioned. Water. Ideally two to two and a half litres per day. I'm going to define water in a minute. That keeps the blood thin. And as we looked at earlier in the week, it needs to be taken between meals, not with meals. Celtic salt or the whole salt, together with water, keeps that blood nice and thin. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a remarkable herb. You might be familiar with Jethro Kloss's book, Back to Eden. Jethro Kloss devotes half a page to every herb, 10 pages to cane pepper, a remarkable herb. A fantastic blood thinner. It is known to strengthen arterial walls. It's even known to repair heart muscle. If you're not used to it, just have a little bit every day. You'll get used to it. I'm used to it now. One person said, but it burns. I said, not for long, just for a few minutes. It'll pass. <laughs> you know how the, um, the police were using capsicum spray? Do you know that after that experience, the criminal who got the capsicum spray in his eyes, he would have better eyesight? Yes, it debilitates. Oh, yes, it hurts. <laughs> but the next day, he'd be able to see better. Yes, if you're brave, you can try it. <laughs> cayenne pepper in the eye. It doesn't sting for long, briefly, and it never hurts. One doctor in uh, Back to Eden, he said it's impossible to abuse cayenne pepper and it will never burn. It feels like it is, but it will never harm the tissues. Garlic, there's a lot of information coming out now, has been really for the last 10 years, on what a powerful herb garlic is regarding the blood and regarding the heart. Another blood thinner is ginger. Ginger is a remarkable herb. It's a potent anti-inflammatory herb, but it also is a blood thinner. So you can grate some ginger, pour boiling water on it, delicious tea. Or you can put it in all your stir fries, put it in every legume dish, delicious. And yet it's thinning your blood. Omega-3, with its three double bonds, is a blood thinner. So there's your chia seed. There's your flaxseed and the nut that is the highest in omega-3 is the walnut. So as you can see by my list here, there is no need to take drugs that have their possible side effects. We need to keep that blood nice and thin. Remember, it's the life of the flesh. And I've seen many people get off their blood pressure medication and go on the hawthorn berry.